Yo guys, my name is Fels here, and welcome to a tutorial on how to make a Project Zomboid server using Hamachi. Now, for those who don't know, Hamachi is a, uh, using a Hamachi server is, um, well, I use Hamachi server so I don't have to port forward since I don't know how to port forward. I've googled it, there's a ton of steps, it's, I consider it as hassle. So, Hamachi server is an easy way to make a project on mode server, uh, well, a private server. So, yeah, if you want to make a public server, um, Hamachi is not really a good way to go about it. So, let's begin. First, you need to download Hamachi going to this website. Uh, I'll get the link and put it in my description so you can go there. And what you need to do is first press condition of use, and then press download now under unmanaged. I have no idea what managed is. You have to create an uh, account. I think you have to pay or something. Uh, truth to be told, I don't know. You could try it, but I don't know what to do with it. So press download now. You'll get Hamachi.msi. Uh, just download it, and you'll get this. Now, I already installed Hamachi, however, you, if you don't have it, just go through the installation and in the end, you will have this. Well, first it will be turned off, you turn it on, it'll go through some things, it might be longer for you, but in the end, you will get an IP up here, and you won't have any networks. This is the network I use in order to... Uh, play projects I'm with, with my brother. Now, for the people who want to host, you need to create a network. And after you need to create a network, well, first you need to create a network using network ID. This is the name you're gonna have your friends put in for them to join. So let's just type in some random thing. Password, whatever the password you want to be, let's put it as because it's why not create and you'll get this it's a long ass name now for people who are joining the server they need to put, join an existing network put in the name whatever the, whatever the name is that you put they put the network ID and then the password whatever the password you put so I'll just delete this one since I already have one now um, after doing the Hamachi thing, you need to go to your Steam, the library, and go to your Project Zomboid. Now, usually you don't have online tests right beside your Project Zomboid, but for this you need to go to Properties, Betas, and then right here, um, by default it would be one of these three, I don't really know which one, but you need to go to your online test, close, it'll go through a short download, thing and that's it uh, that's all you need to do for Steam now afterwards you need to go to your files oh shit it's a bit extended all right you need to go uh, your file thing you need to go to Windows or whatever your drive is called then you need to go to program files times whatever mine's 86 I don't know whether this was laptop or other computers and then you need to find Steam now if you go to a different program files and you don't find Steam whatsoever then you're probably in the wrong program, uh, program files so you need to go to Steam afterwards you need to go to Steam apps yep uh, common you need to find a Project Zomboid folder and then you would need to find Project Zomboid Server. It's a Windows batch file. Now if you didn't turn your Steam into online test and you went straight here, you won't find Project Zomboid Server. So make sure to turn your uh, Project Zomboid into online test. Now what I did is I made a shortcut in my desktop so I don't have to keep going to this 
uh, I guess is folder file. So is that repetitive? I think that's repetitive folder file. Yeah, whatever. And then you need to double click it. I'll just use my shortcut. And it will run. It's need to wait for it to load. And load world. All in the meantime, if you do want to change your project zom uh, zomboid settings, such as like whitelisting, uh, turning off PvP if you want, you have to go to your Windows again, users, whatever you're logged in as, I'm mini dash fuzzy, then there will be a zom uh, zomboid file right here. Then go to server, server options. Then right here, PVP is true, global chat is true, open. Um, I haven't really played a lot with this since I do want PVP on in my uh, series. Yep, I, I don't really know what the others do. And yeah, let's see if that's finished right now. Yep, server started. So now that has server started right here, go to your project zomboid and run it. Probably should put myself busy. And run projects on board. It doesn't matter which one you do. There we go. Oh no. Mute. It'll be different than. You'll notice the difference between running single player and running multiplayer, or running offline and online tests. Oh my god, I had to click. Fuck. Alright. You'll notice that there's not like the usual options down here at the bottom. You'll no notice join server. Just press join server. D put the server name. Uh, now, you don't have to put your server name, your network name in Hamachi as your server name in Project Zomboid. That's optional. It doesn't really matter what you call it. Now, the IP, that's what matters. Now, put the IP of the person's. Uh, the person's ah shit. Put the person's. How do I put this? The person who's hosting in the Hamachi put his IP inside the IP in Project Zomboid. Oh my fucking god. The port stays as default one six two six one. And then put your uh the name you want to show up in the game, and then put the password. And press save and then put join server now the password I don't know it's the same password as your Hamachi password however I just made it the same just in case then just join server you won't be able to create a character once you go that's why we're me and my brother are two black chicks it's not by choice it's we're being forced to be two black chicks Click. Click to skip. There we go. Holy shit. Alright. CC my black chick wearing nothing. So, and that's how you make Project Android server using Machi. Now, if you did not like how I speak or you just find me and know, oh, hello, I'm not going to allow you to do that. If you don't like the way I did this tutorial, I will have the steps in the description so you can just, you know, not listen to my voice. If, you, know, you don't look my lovely voice. <laughs> oh, shit! So hopefully you found this helpful. If you didn't, well, that's going to be a problem. If you didn't find this helpful or you still have a question, put your question in the comments and I will try my best to answer it. So thanks for watching and see you later.